Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Beastly Eel, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the latest episode of Kite Man, Hell Yeah, um, episode 4. So this episode was much different than I was expecting, so the last few episodes have been about them buying the bar, figuring out how the bar is going to go, dealing with competitors. This episode was technically about the bar, however it was in a way that I was not expecting, although it was well done in my opinion. So. As we know in the last episode, Golden Glider and Kite Man had decided to live together. And apparently there was an apartment above the bar, which the old owner of Noonan's was living in. However, now that they're the owners, they can now live up there. So they were beginning to move in with Bane's help, which is always a funny thing to think about, as Bane being a mover. So Bane's helping out, and then all of a sudden he has the urge that he has to go to the bathroom. So as everyone else, uh, as the other two are beginning to look through their apartment, he then goes to the bathroom that says, do not use. He uses it, and when he does, he goes number two. And when he does, he all of a sudden gets teleported somewhere else. Apparently, he gets teleported to the 80s, because apparently their toilet is a time-traveling toilet. And the particular, the particulars of this toilet are the fact that if you go number two, you go in the past, and if you go number one, you go back to where you came from. Which is such a weird thought to think about, but it is what it is. So, um, Bane is now, there's a sequence of Bane making 80s references, not realizing he's in the 80s until all of a sudden it's starting to click like, oh, all these people are doing stuff that was done in the 80s because it is the 80s. So, we then have Golden Glider and Kite Man um, realizing that Bane is gone and trying to figure out their relationship. Because apparently, Golden Glider does not have any photos of her past. However, Kite Man has a million. So he's like, no, I just want to know about your past. Which, in fairness, is a normal thing for a couple to do. However, this couple would not be your stereotypical couple. Um, so because of that, the two of them are beginning to have a little bit of a disagreement. Um, she doesn't want to tell him anything, and he wants to know everything. Because he doesn't think that because they're in love that they should have secrets. Which, again, a reasonable thought. However, instead of, ha instead of respecting her wishes for the time being until she's ready to discuss them, he decides to go and find her brother, who apparently is Captain Cold, which is such a weird thing that I would have never guessed in a million years. So apparently Captain Cold is a brother, and he explains to Kite Man what happened. That apparently, when Golden Glider's powers first manifested, it was at the bar of Noonan's. Um, back in the 80s, they're assuming. Um, and that's where she killed their parents. And so Kite Man's like, whoa, why did she, why did she want to, why did she want to buy the bar with me? And then want to live above the place where she killed her parents. So while this is going on in his head, he then goes home, they see the wall and realize that apparently Bane's in the past, he wrote a message on the wall explaining that he's in the past and he's not sure what to do. Um, Bane, however, finds Golden Glider and Captain Cold's mother and is enthralled with her. Thinks she's the greatest thing ever. So he's trying to, well, make moves on her. Now she's married, and granted, it's not a great relationship, but she's married nonetheless. So he keeps sitting on her, and he keeps failing. So Golden Glider and Kite Man go into the past, and the two of the, they all begin to try to stop Golden Glider from basically killing everyone. Unfortunately, what happens is what I would assume is the same thing that happened in the original past, which is Golden Glider gets mad that her parents are fighting, her powers manifest, and she obliterates everyone. The difference here is Kite Man is protected by his the present day Golden Glider, and their mother is protected by Bane. So when the time comes, Golden Glider is now super excited that her mom lived because she's now realizing that she finally gets to have the chance to have a parent in her life. So her and Kite Man go back into the present. Um, while that's going on, Bane is there because he wants to enjoy the 80s and be with Golden Glider's mother. Golden Glider's mother decides that she's going to leave because she now can have the life she's always wanted 
and has chosen to leave her children right where they are at the bar of Noonan's and disappear. Bane went to go after her when Golden Glider wakes up and he tries to talk to her and he tries to explain to her what's going on and then explains and decides to just go with, you killed your parents. And surprisingly, it doesn't go well. So I believe she begins to cry and Bane gets very awkward and goes, Ooh, I have somewhere I have to go. I'm sorry. And he goes back to the present. So they all go back to the present. Golden Glider is looking for photos of her family. You know, now that she knows her mom's alive, she must have a million photos of her and her mom. However, there's none. Ow. However, there's none. So she begins to talk to her brother, Captain Gold, who also um, decides to, well, apparently when he and Kite Man were talking, um, Kite Man alluded to the fact that he could stay there. And so Captain Gold took it upon himself to go now and live in their house. So she begins to ask him, where's all the photos of mom and everything else? And he's like, what are you talking about? You blew her up. Like, she's dead. You already know this. So, Golden Glider's now trying to figure out where her mother's going. Like, where is her mother? Because she knows her mother's alive. Like, what happened to her? What's been going on in these last, you know, 40 years or so? Like, what happened where she, her mom isn't around? And that's the end of the episode, So We Think. So the episode truly ends with a um, scene after the fact where we see an older version, of most likely a present day version, of Golden Glider and Captain Cold's mother in some sort of cage that looks very much like a present cage, but it's it looks to the... I don't want to phrase this. The prison cell, all the bars are around all four sides, so it makes it look more like it's like a lifted cage than anything else. So like a not an actual prison. And a gas fills the area up and she begins to cough. Um, and that's how the episode ends. So I think where they're going to be going is we're going to find out what's going on with her mother at some point during the season. I don't know if we're going to get it in the next episode or not. However, if we don't, we're definitely going to get it before the end of the season is over. Even if we don't see her mother, we'll know like what's going on to a certain degree. Or at least have a better idea of what's happening. But overall, I thought this was a nice... Uh, twist on the series that we've had so far um, it's still about the bar but it was in a very different way that I was expecting and it was fresh and it was nice um, overall like I've been saying like this is a good show it's not like the greatest show ever to exist but it does what it's supposed to do it's supposed to make Kite Man a joke and all the lower level villains pretty much jokes and I think that's what it does and does well so let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comments below did you like it did you not and why and as always if you like the content you see please make sure to like and subscribe down below other than that this is going to be Beastly Eel signing out have a great night bye bye